Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel for nurses preparation. I am Neeraj Kumar Kathal. Today we are discussing about cardiac catheterization. It is a very important topic from the subject fundamental of nursing. Cardiac words meaning related with heart and catheterization means process of inserting catheter into the body. And what is catheter? Catheter is a tube-like equipment or structure that is helpful in diagnosis, treatment or in surgery. Now let's talk about this procedure. Cardiac catheterization is an invasive test in which catheter inserted into heart and surrounding vessels. Cardiac catheterization is an invasive procedure. Invasive means we are going to insert uh, equipment into the body. So it is an invasive test in which catheter is inserted into heart and surrounding vessels that related with the blood supply to the heart. Why we are performing this cardiac catheterization? What is the purpose? To assess structure and functions of heart, chamber, walls and vessels like coronary circulation. If a person is suffering with cardiac problems and we want to make a diagnosis, what is the reason why this person is having this abnormality related with heart? We can inject catheter or cardiac catheter into the person's body and by this we can assess the anatomical structure of heart like chambers, walls and also the functions of blood vessels like coronary artery that are continuously supplying blood to the heart. You can take a screenshot for your revision. Now let's talk about the pre-procedural interventions. The first thing in that is informed consent. We must check the informed consent is taken or not. Informed consent is a procedure in which doctor tells about the procedure to the client and also tells about the all advantages and disadvantages of the procedure and signature also taken that he got all the information about this procedure, all the advantages and disadvantages also and he is, the client is agree to allow to perform the doctor this procedure. This is the informed consent, we must check this uh, informed consent is taken or not. Second point is assess for allergies with seafood, iodine or radio opaque dye. During or after the cardiac catheterization procedure, dye is administered for, the, for making diagnosis. We must check the person is having allergy with this dye, iodine or seafood or not. If the person is having allergies with these substance, we must administer according to the prescription medicines that uh, prevent the allergic reactions like antihistamines and others. Withhold food before 6 to 8 hours before the procedure and liquid or water before 4 hours of procedure to prevent aspiration. Aspiration is a very critical condition that can be fatter. Next, we must check all the vital signs and record. Next, insert IV line if prescribed. Next point is also inform client that local anesthesia given before procedure. We have to give information about this local anesthesia is given before the procedure. Inform client that he or she may get palpitation like symptoms while injecting dye. Palpitation means abnormal heart rhythm. This thing occurs due to dye. Next is administration of pre-procedure medications if any. 
if there is a pre procedural medications we have to inject these medicines also shave and clean the insertion site clean the site with antiseptic solution you can take a screenshot for your revision now let's talk about the sites of administration of cardiac catheter there is basically two sites first we talk about the femoral vein in this diagram we are talking about the right side heart catheterization first take femoral vein this is the right femoral vein of the person you can see femoral vein of this person and catheter is inserted by this vein from here it reaches into the inferior vena cava then right atrium then right ventricle and from right ventricles to it reaches into pulmonary artery you can see in the flow chart if the catheter is inserted by the femoral vein it reaches at the inferior vena cava then right atrium of heart then right ventricle of heart and in the last pulmonary artery second site is anticubital or basilic vein this is located at this region hand of the person this is the hand of the person and catheter is inserted with this site it reaches into the superior vena cava from there right atrium of the heart then left ventricle of sorry right ventricle of the heart and in the last uh, pulmonary arteries you can see in the flow chart if the site is anticubital or basilic vein then catheter is reaches into the superior vena cava then right atrium then right ventricle and in the last in pulmonary artery you can take a screenshot for your revision now talk about post procedural interventions important monitor vital vital signs and cardiac rhythms every 30 minute for starting 2 hours after cardiac catheterization 2 hours are very important for a client if we have to check vitals and cardiac rhythms every 30 minutes for initial 2 hours if chest pain and dysrhythmia inform healthcare provider during this time period patient is having any kind of chest pain or dysrhythmias abnormal heart rhythms we have to inform doctor or healthcare provider monitor color pulse warmth and sensation in the distal extremities every 30 minutes in initial 2 hours after catheterization initial 2 hours is more important so we have to check every 30 minutes vital signs as well as color warmth sensation in the distal extremities next if there is any abnormality seen in the distal extremities like tingling numbness cool cyanosis paleness we have to inform inform healthcare provider immediately next is apply pressure devices if prescribed at insertion site if healthcare provider is ordered to apply pressure devices we have to implement this monitor for bleeding if any apply manual pressure from and inform healthcare provider if there is any kind of bleeding is present we have to apply manual pressure at the bleeding site and inform healthcare provider immediately if hematoma is present we can inform healthcare provider hematoma means collection of blood outside the blood vessel hematoma is a condition when in which accumulation of blood occurs outside the blood vessel if there is a hematoma present we have to inform the healthcare provider keep extremities extended for 6 to 4 to 6 hours as prescribed keep patient's extremities extended for at least 4 to 6 hours or as according to the prescription maintain 6 to 12 hours bed rest we have to say to the patient that he must take strictly 6 to 12 hours 
bed rest after this procedure. Encourage fluid intake for excretion of dye if it is not contraindicated. Fluid, uh, fluid intake can also maintain the person's uh, body's fluid level. Monitor all vital signs and other abnormalities present. We have to continuously maintain the vital signs and all the important signs and symptoms. You can take a screenshot for your revision. So everyone, this was all important about the cardiac catheterization procedure. If you think this video is helpful then please click upon the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe our YouTube channel for nurses preparation for more such interesting videos. All the best.